Okay, last episode we completed the assembly of the head, even checked the deck height and slapped on the head to the block, fully torqued it and got it all complete. And this time we got the rocker arms on and checking it with a cam, with a skunk 2 stage 2 cam, we degree it, set it all up properly with the one twin cam gears as you can see here and take you guys with the calculations of the lobe centers and talk about all the other stuff that we gotta do and finish off the engine to complete assembly. Okay, first things first, we got a new page up and running. You gotta have to hit like and follow the page because the previous page is unused or uncontrolled because I, my Facebook account, my personal account got hacked. So I got no moderation control on that. We got priceless and all the, all the major work that we do, it's over there, including porting and easy tuning. And here we discuss about why the locals always run pistons, but not improving efficiency on the intake and everything else. So, you know, we, we try to give insight for that and even talk about the deck height of the d15 and d16 and even the compression height of each piston this way it's all about technical stuff that we share and here you can see we finished putting the y8 manifold to have it welded and we also did a preview of a vti honda civic vti 97 model that we're gonna do a complete build with a po8 d15b cylinder head it's going to be fully built with crower cams and all the good stuff so you know you got to follow that and like the page you know all right so now here we finished up the head onto the block we torqued it on the last episode and now we got this we got the rocker arms on we set the belt good now we're going to degree the cams or actually the cam the skunk 2 stage 2 cam so let's go one important thing to talk about is all aftermarket cam gears are, are two different things or two different ones. They, they can be either for a Z6 or a Y series. And this one twin cam gears, apparently it looks like it's for a Y series because we laid on a PM3 cam gear, the OEM one, which is the same for the ZC. And it looks like it was off by half a tooth. So what we did is retard this cam gear four and a half degrees. You can advance it and install it properly also. Either way, it's got to be half a tooth adjusted, so it's either advanced or retarded, and your builder would know this and would install it properly. So you got to make sure of that, all right? All right, so now what we did here is actually move it two degrees retard. This way, it's kind of like advanced, but that's still the starting point. And we're going to degree this and see what's the opening and closing numbers just to get the lobe center. And then let's go from there. Okay, you can see there, all right? Okay, now let's let me clip the phone to the stand. This way you guys can see as we degree this. All right. Okay, now let's go. Okay, we gotta turn this. Come on, come on. Yeah, of course the exhaust sequence will go in first, then they go the intake. Okay, come on. Okay, there. Now it's gonna be the intake. Okay, we stop at point zero fifty. Come on. there okay now let me unclip the phone and show you guys let's check it here okay it's 50 all right and then it's okay it's 11 all right now let's continue now let's go with the maximum lift this is gonna stop there because it doesn't reach it but we actually perfectly aligned it so this is gonna be correct so we close it now with we stop with the 0 0.050 on the closing Okay, stop there. Okay, there you go. Okay, let me show you guys. There's 50, and then it's 40. There's 40, all right? Okay, now let's check. Let's compute it. I'm gonna write this here. The starting point is 11 BTDC, and then it's 40 ABDC. So let's calculate that. Come on, wait. Wait, just to be sure, okay. 
Wait. Confusing. Let me calculate it. Um, okay, wait. Okay, wait. Let me get the phone. Well, well, the calculator on the phone. Just to be sure, okay. Compute it. All right, now, here, okay. It's 93.5 lobe center. Okay, that's too low. At least in my book. We want it on... 97 to 100 so we move it back to four degrees retard this way that's the theoretical zero come on okay here we are now as you can see it's back to top dead top dead center right there and now the cam gear is this four degrees retard this is actually how the zero is on the pm3 factory cam gear so now this is theoretically the zero point. As you can see here, you can see it's retard four. Yes, all right. So now let's check the degrees. And if this falls into the ideal lobe center for me, then this is gonna be the starting point. And this is the degree settings until we go to the dyno. Then we'll find out more on what it likes or where it likes it. All right, we didn't get to record it, but let's jump to the calculation now. Here, opening is 8, BTDC, and then closing is 38, ABDC. All right, so let's calculate that. Add the closing, I mean the opening, and then the closing, plus 180, and then you divide by 2. Uh, okay, wait, wait, let me calculate just to be sure. All right, here. Okay, we calculated it. it's 97 lobe center. Okay, this is perfect. Well, on the dyno, it might like it retard one more degree for better top end or advance it one degree for a more response. So we will see on the dyno. All right, so this is how it is. And uh, yep, the skunk too right there on the page. All right, now we are off to disassemble the rocker arms again and reassemble it completely with all the VTEC pins and everything so it will function properly. Yes, then the engine is done. The next thing we have to do, of course, well, you can see the head is done really good, right? Okay, so the next thing we have to do is, of course, port match the manifold because we made a gasket or the intake gasket for it and also port match the b16 throttle and also we will talk about the 421 header that the engine is going to use and we're going to discuss a bit about the modifications that we're planning to do on it all right because we're done with the green we're going to remove this fixture that we made and now it's here with all the valve cover seals and even the owner actually got the o-ring for the spark plug on the valve cover this way there's no leak anywhere so this is going to be really good and this is actually dynamically balanced by edmel machine shop so this is going to be running really smooth aside from making good power so this is going to be a fun little engine and reliable of course so this is going to be good and going to be fun on the vti4 door so basically this engine is ready to be picked up but the owner is going to bring his header his 421 header so that we can modify it and do the trick that we do and then they they actually plan to do the installation of the engine onto his car so that's going to be good and then we're going to update you guys when it's going to start up and run and honda lab is going to be helping on the startup joseph stone the owner of honda lab is going to be handling the startup this way we can make sure that it's going to be tuned well even on on startup this way the condition of the engine is perfect all the time if any of you guys have been wondering what we're gonna do or modify on the header that's gonna be like this and make it more efficient is it's actually a known mod way back way back even in honda tech and it actually they've actually dyno tested it and it actually works it's basically just mod the collector and of course we're not just gonna chop it to make it 2.5 we're gonna do some stuff to it and you will see it because we'll share all the details because we've done this a few times even in a stock b16 header and it actually works and also we'll talk about more in depth about the port matching that we do with all the gaskets and of course 
uh, more details that we're going to share because actually I made a video of gasket matching and making the gaskets. It's going to be for the membership only video. But of course, this one, I'm going to show you guys some details, including the way we port match the throttle into the intake manifold flange. Yes, it's port matching like you just make it port, like make it matched, right? But it's more than that, actually. You got to factor in the reversions that's happening on the head onto the intake and from the intake to the throttle. So anything that you can do to prevent anti-reversion or actually do anti-reversion, you're going to improve volumetric efficiency. And when it's done, you can take care.